Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing part one of our Manolo Blahnik series and working with these two fingernails, the ring finger and the pinky, which are stiletto nails made with poly gel. So first we're going to work on the background. So our first design is going to be the Hengisi Decade Heel by Manolo Blahnik. It's the limited edition uh, heel and it was inspired by love and weddings and it's, uh, it was priced at about $1,000. So um, I'm using Sally Henson's Tidal Wave to do two coats of the background. And then for step two, I'm going to turn this color into a satin finish using Born Pretty and E-Nail Couture. I'm going to be uh, putting on a thin layer of Shiny by E-Nail Couture. And once I cure that, I'm going to be uh, varnishing that with a Born Pretty Pearlized Powder to create the satin finish. So in this series, I'm going to be doing Manolo Blahniks. If you do not know, they are very high-end shoes. Um, obviously, this one is priced at thousand dollars so this is not your average uh, heel that most have in their closets <laughs> but I thought this was very nice and dreamy and inspiring and I love the concept um, on the side is written a decade of love and it's colored blue this was featured in sex in the city um, Carrie Bradshaw wore it and um, I like the idea. It's something blue. So, of course, when this show, uh, this shoe came out, um, a lot of people bought it to wear at their weddings. So for my cure, uh, returning viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So create this embossed lettering. I'm going to be using Jellish and Born Pretty. I'm going to be mixing up... Um, I mixed up Jellish's Black Shadow with some uh, metallic navy blue stamping polish. And I did that off uh, camera. Um, so now I'm gonna kind of, uh, if you Google this, um, Manono, Manono, Manolo Blahnik Hengisi Decade Heel, you'll see um, it's a blue heel. I mean, it, I think it does come in other colors but the one that'll pop up is probably the blue one. And it has uh, it written on the side, like I said, a decade of love. And um, so I'm kind of trying to uh, do the lettering as close to what it shows on their heel. And this part was more of the tedious part because it is a lot of letters on such a, a small space. So this is going to be an inspired design by the Manola Blahnik Kinesi, um Decade Heel. It's not going to exactly obviously look like it. But um, I actually had to write this out maybe two times because the first time I wrote it out it was nice. but. Um, I made the letters a little bit bigger and too spaced out to where it got bunched up at the end, um, at the tip. So this time I'm just trying to compress everything. And the, the embossed lettering is in cursive. So um, it kind of makes things easier, but not really. <laughs> if you normally uh, write in cursive, um, there are certain loops in certain directions that you do in order to write this out, but because um, 
lettering with a brush in a small space is just so much harder. I had to kind of like just mimic the loops in this uh, in this embossed lettering to make it look like it, but I would have, you know, no one would ever write that way. <laughs> so, um, am I a fan of Manolo Blahniks? I am a heel enthusiast, so anytime I see really nice heels, I am all about it, and it's not necessarily the brand that I'm going to be happy about. It's the design and the look. These, um, this heel is pretty cute. Um, however, I feel like I wish the um, embossed lettering was done in a lighter color because this is exactly what it kind of looks like in photo. It's dark lettering against, you know, a light background, but not light enough to where it pops at you. So I wish that they had done it in like maybe an off-white or a white or even a light blue. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. So um, in this series, I'm gonna, I picked two that were I think the most interesting to me. Um, if you have any Manolo Blahnik favorites, whether you own them or not. <laughs> Leave a comment below, let me know what those heels are. And just as a reminder, this is um, a new series that we're doing. I'm just, you know, putting my videos in a, in a playlist so that it's easier to find the videos. Um, and if you want, you can check out the playlists and just hit play have it run in the background while you're washing dishes, cleaning up, you know, if you're <laughs> working from home, working from home, you know. Uh, watch time is such a big thing on YouTube and I try to um, help out with everybody's watch time. I know it's such a tough thing. And in saying that, um, if you're watching this far, thank you so much. It's been kind of a crazy week. I'm really slow at getting back at um, video watching you guys this week, um, or this past week. Uh, in a couple of videos ago, or more than a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that I had some um, family members that were going through some illnesses, and one of them, you know, was my grandmother, and she's like my best friend. So it's been rough, and. Um, she was transferred out of the hospital into um, a rehab like therapy place and um, I took a few days to um, be with her and just keep her company, keep her motivation up, make sure she's eating, make sure she's doing her therapy and so I really didn't have time to um, be able to check all your videos so I'm going to be doing that this week and hopefully I can catch up because I hate getting behind so you guys like I have so many um, people that uh, like and comment and check in and I want to return the favor so um, bear with me uh, till I can get to all of you guys I think this is probably the longest that I've not been able to turn around a response for your comments um, and that's because I also watch vid your videos before I even comment. So for step four I'm going to be doing the buckle. Like I said this Manolo Blahnik um, comes in a series of colors. This limited edition uh, has the difference of the embossed lettering but uh, if you just look up the Hengisi style from Manolo Blahniks, they come in multiple colors. And um, with the multiple colors comes like a matching buckle. So what I'm going to do today, I had an idea. It's kind of like I don't have like the dark navy uh, rhinestones that it looked like the shoe had. So I'm, I thought I'd mix up some of this uh, royal blue rhinestone with some black ones that I have. 
And then um, when I did it, it just didn't, it was too light. Um, and the black made it look a little off. So I said, you know what, I have to decide. It has to be all black or all blue. So I end up taking out the black rhinestones and switching them out to the blue. So you're going to see me do that here. And this is a fairly simple heel, you know, um, in terms of heels that I like. Okay, there's nothing wrong with a simple heel, but I like vibrant colors. I like patterns. I like rhinestones or crystals or whatever, you know, I like my heel to pop. So um, a shoe like this is very nice and simple. I could end up wearing this like at a social event that doesn't, you know, expect you to go in there loud, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so um, that's all I have to say about this style, but they do make some really nice shoes. So obviously I've been doing um, a shoe series. Uh, last time I did Jimmy, Jimmy Choo's and um, before that I did the Christian Louboutins and um, I'm just going to keep running with this. There are just so many different brands of um, shoe designers that uh, I think every woman would love to envision themselves owning at some point in their life. So leave a comment below. Let me know what brands you enjoy wearing or wish or would like to wear. So since this design is like fairly It's not huge, but there's so much going on on a small nail that I didn't do the full buckle. I did it like it was um, cut off because in perspective, you wouldn't see the other side of the buckle. I didn't realize um, at first how difficult this nail was going to be uh, until I started working on it. Like I said, I wish the lettering could be different. I did think about like changing the lettering to be a lighter color, but um, you know, I didn't want to take away from the design. And then also um, at the end, showing the end result was a little difficult because um, my uh, filming light was just shining a glare all up on this nail and um, taking uh, final photos, that was difficult as well because again, the light was just hitting it to where um, it was creating a huge glare and the image wasn't coming out. You couldn't see the lettering. So I had to figure out a way and get the right angle in order to take the perfect photo so that you can actually see what's written on there. So here I'm realizing that I put the buckle too high. So I'm just moving this down. And then I'm gonna realize that I don't like the black, so I'm going to replace it with the blue. <laughs>
and again for filming purposes I um, I don't want to show the photo from the website because um, copyright <laughs> some more shiny and fill in some of these gaps, seal in those rhinestones. It's going to tap the sides. nail cleanse this to shine up the rhinestones and the rest of the nail. 
for step five, I'm going to be doing some cuticle work using some Gelish uh, Nourish Cuticle Oil. Placing that on this finger and rubbing it in. And for the final result, Here I have my Manolo Blahnik Hangisi Deke Limited Edition Heel. And I'm going to give you a better view. Again, the light just washes it out. So it says a decade of love with the little buckle. Love this design. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe. And join me again for part two, continuing the Manolo Blahnik series. We're going to be doing another fancy design. Thanks. Bye.